Hello everyone. Thank you for coming up today. My old subscribers, thank you. And to those that are viewing for the first time or that have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. And to my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Please do not forget to hit on the like button. A Nigerian lady narrates how her late sister's husband allegedly brought in another woman soon as she passed. It was brought to the notice duty and maternal grandmother right now are together because this Nigerian woman has narrated how her late sister's husband allegedly brought in another woman to live with him a month after his wife died while giving birth guys can you imagine this whole incident or imagine how something like this would look like even before the child or before family members and it was gathered that on wednesday that was yesterday february 24th the deceased died at Isolo General Hospital in Lagos, Nigeria while giving birth to their second child. And a month after her death, her family found out that a young woman moved in with the widower and upon confronting him, he told them that the woman was going to be his new wife. Not even waiting at all for her mourning nothing not even waiting for her burial he has just brought in another woman into the house and the woman said that her sister's second child named beauty is being taken care of by their mother since birth while the husband is said to have married the other woman and this is what she is saying right now i'm going to read exactly what she has to say Although this didn't happen to me, that's the sister is narrating right now, but my blood, which is my sister, I can feel pain anytime I remember the death of my sister and what happened one month after her death. My sister died in Isolo General Hospital, Lagos, Nigeria, after a C-section, which later got complicated about that same time but the baby is alive in the hospital i and my family and extended family spent a lot of money clearing a lot of bills and buried my sister same day because we can't bear the pain of seeing her lying down dead my sister's late husband didn't pay a dime because we understand he's a teacher and broke at that time and my sister wasn't working while she was alive we gave him pocket money the following day to take care of the first daughter which my sister had before she died the child was given birth to at a solo general hospital was given to my mom to take care of because this my sister's husband begs me that she can't allow his sister to take care of his children and also his mom is old we collected the baby from him gave it to my mom despite what she's facing at that time she first refused to collect the baby but after a lot of begging she did i can remember i did a lot of vigil on that child with my mom and dad for about three weeks None of my late sister's husband bring even common diapers, not even the husband. My mom, who doesn't work again, my dad, who is a security, are the ones footing the bills of this child. With all this, my dad and mom are doing is not up to three weeks that my sister's neighbor called my mom that they are seeing a lady in my late sister's 
husband's house. The believe she is our family. Meanwhile, the lady they are seeing normally follow my late sister's husband to visit the child. We thought they are just colleagues. Not up to three weeks, another lady is already sleeping on my late sister's bed. My mom asked. He said she only comes to teach the first born lesson because the lady is also a teacher. But we said it's too early for that. This lady is sleeping in your house. We are not telling you not to have another wife. But think about this children's future first. Settle down first. Respect your late wife first. Respect the family. He responded in annoyance that we are not the one that would tell him how to handle his family. With all my family does for this guy, paying for half of his rent, giving them foodstuffs, buying clothes for him and many more before my sister died and after. Come to the worst, he bluntly said the lady is his wife that is going to give us a wedding IV. My mom cries every day because of this insult and she has developed sickness due to this. This guy doesn't have a single family. We only know his brother, sister and mother, which they are all the same. I have never seen such a family in my life. Nobody to report to apart from those three. Now, when the child was almost nine months, he takes us to human rights that he wants to collect his child. The human rights said he had to, he had right to collect his child as the father. Meanwhile, the first child, according to her, we saw iron rod on her left breast. We asked what happened to her there. She said she was playing with iron. This is a four years old child. We said to the human right that the husband should charge us to court. It's only court that can decide. Since then, we haven't heard anything about the child. He has not for once come to visit the second child. My mom and my dad are the only ones struggling to cater for this child, no one else. This guy doesn't look back. The first child that is with him, we don't know how she is doing with the wife and the sister of the guy. It is a girl we are worried about because this guy sister doesn't have husband. She's staying with but she has two children and they are boys. This guy's mom is in her 80s. The wife cannot be trusted after seeing that iron mark. We don't know her whereabouts, where she's staying presently. We are only managing to take care of the second child, who is a girl too. And the burden is too much because I don't have work right now. It's only my parents that are struggling to cater for her. Also, this marvel me, the second wife is about 23 years old and the guy is 37. And not that this guy has money. Well, maybe my sister's clothes, shoes and properties she sees. That's not my consign. My sister's daughter are our consigns right now. That's true life story and we are working in it every day. Help us pray for these two daughters. They are Alex and Beauty. You can see that um, the picture of the daughter there. It's so heartbreaking. And this is all that she had actually penned down. Coming to think of it, a woman who passed away just a month. And then he is now bringing another woman into the house. And to make matters worse, his child, he's not even taking good care of her. He now had to drag his in-laws to human rights that he wants to claim full custody of his child. And they are now saying even the little girl that is with them, who is just four years old, the found that there is an iron injury on her. So which means, does it seem like... 
this little girl is being taken good care of and he is now acting like he is the lord of all in the sense that knowing fully well that his in-laws have been there supporting him even before their late sister passed and afterwards they kept on supporting him is it not enough reason for him to even have some kind of remorse if all of these are true the guy is not trading a right path at all one you should respect the dead you should mourn this dead person if you look at something like this something like this that has actually happened you'll be asking yourself did this guy really love this his wife or were they just together for a particular reason or purpose and it's so painful that she died during childbirth it's enough reason for this man to have so much remorse pain to even mourn his wife and ensure that he takes his time before he even starts thinking of another woman just a month this is so horrible one month after your wife passed then you decide to bring in another woman you'll be asking yourself who is this particular woman doesn't she have a conscience how will she even allow herself to come into such a home a woman you know that has just passed away a month and they bring you into the house you will now accept to come into that same house and sit down as the madam of the house this is a very very painful thing because it's painful to the family the woman's family owing to the fact that they are doing most of the things for this guy and they are saying it's not like this guy has the money He's a teacher. It's not like he's paid huge amounts of money to the point that you feel that, okay, this guy is rich. They still help him to suit the bills. Even the hospital bill, he was unable to do that. They were the ones who carried out this bill. Then this guy decides that he will now bring in another woman into the house and even try to ensure that he takes full custody of the kids when he can't even take care of the first one with him for that injury on that little girl which means no one is even watching over her or even taking good care of her so right now his in-laws are even saying they want him to drag them to court because it's only the court that will hear from both ends and decide what the final verdict will be in a situation like this it show it just shows that the husband and that lady that is in the house are not fit for the, that little girl that is in the house they're not taking care of her it's so obvious because if a child will sustain injury like that fine kids play around the sustained injury it's normal but from what they are saying now it's giving a clear indication like the little girl it's not been she's not being taken care of and it's like she's just left all by herself and they are afraid of what will happen to that girl for her in-laws to complain regarding the child that is with the dad it obviously means that the care and attention the girl deserves she is not getting it and it's painful because she is a girl and the lady is even saying now that the woman whom the man had brought into the house and he's married to already has two boys guys come and analyze this whole thing please look at this child she is a girl and there are two other boys in the house what happens when both parents are not around just try to analyze things because right now kids are getting to know things even more than their own age you may leave these kids together you don't even know what will happen This is a girl. You can't just leave a girl, a little girl and boys alone in the house. And owing to the fact that this other woman is not even her biological mother. Who knows the way she is even treating this other little girl in the house. This is where you find out that some families end up having to lose their child. Because the other woman in the house may not even treat her like her own child. And when she leaves these kids together alone what happens are her own boys treating this girl like their own sister do they bully her do they harass her these are all the questions you'll put at the back of your mind when you see something like this happening
it's really hard to leave kids with someone that is not their biological parent, especially in a situation like this, where you know that this woman is coming into a house where another woman was before. It will give an indication like probably the woman who is in the house at the moment had something to do with this other man when the wife was still alive. Because how would you say a man who just lost his wife and a month another woman comes in and they're already married? Will you just pick a random lady on the street and then get married to her? You know, in most, most cases, it's not possible. You must have had a very close or long relationship with this other person or known this other person for some time before you decide that you bring the person into the house to get married to that person. It's really hard and sad to see that some men would go into an act like this. In situations like this, it's really difficult to actually draw full conclusions on what is really happening in that particular house but since the in-laws are scared of what will happen to this child something needs to be done and except this man takes them to court i think they're only waiting for the man to drag them to court first of all before they would now take other actions that they need to take i just pray that that little girl is safe in that house most times they even some people would even stay five years and mourn their late wives before they even bring another woman into the house. This is just one month and another woman is in the house and already married within a month. It's so disrespectful to his late wife and even to his in-laws. And his in-laws have always been there supporting him. He didn't even respect them. To even say, okay, let him pause for a while. And when they even had to confront him regarding it, he now decides that he, he would let them know that they don't decide for him. They don't tell him how to take care of his own family. These are the same people who are helping and supporting you and you respond to them in such cruel manner. Some people forget the good deeds that people do to them. And they just act in a very horrible and ungrateful way. This man is only portraying an act of ingrate and disrespect to his in-laws. If all of these actions that this man is doing is really true, he needs to be cautioned. Some reports need to be made, especially for the life of that little girl in the house where she is there with two other boys. Because no one knows what is happening there. No one knows how she's being treated, how the woman is even treating her, or how the boys even treat her in the house. I wish it was possible for this other in-laws to have this child in their own custody. So that they will know that these kids, that's the daughters, are with them. And they'll be more comfortable. Irrespective of whatever the man is doing with his new wife, they wouldn't be bothered but they are more worried because of the girl in the house and it creates room for concern and worry she's just four years old whatever these people are doing to her she may not be able to speak up and explain everything or they may even threaten her because she is a child all of this will be coming into play or you'll be thinking of things like this because she is only four years old i pray that she is safe and I pray she's well taken care of and something needs to be done for that little girl to be with her in-law since the dad doesn't seem to be like he is taking good care of his own daughter. Friends, what do you all think about this? A man who just lost his wife just a month and then he brought in another woman and even married to the woman. And he has a little girl in the house without even considering all of that. Please, whatever you think, you can put that down at the comment section. And may the soul of her sister rest in perfect peace with the Lord. Childbearing, it only takes the grace of God for women to come out alive. It's not easy. Women are really, really trying when it has to do with childbearing they go through a whole lot of pain you would just feel so sorry once you watch and see 
how women go through all of this pain carrying the pregnancy and then having to come and give birth it's not an easy thing mothers are really really trying friends thank you for coming up today please if you have anything to say you can put that down at the comment section please do not forget to hit the like button also subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video friends i'm here today to talk about how to start up a new youtube channel so for those that are looking to start up a new youtube channel probably you've been trying to figure out how to go about it or you have been trying to see what it entails or what you need to start that's why i'm here today to give you the easy way for you to get this done not just the easy but the best method and also to give you or to talk about the best teacher who will give you all that it's required for you to start up your own youtube channel this is a teacher he is really successful with his youtube and he has been a teacher for so long now teacher is matt pa he's going to give you a step-by-step -step method on how to start up your own youtube channel no stone unturned every step of the way he's going to lead you through it you have links that you can actually reach out to him and communicate with him directly. That's Matt Path there. You can see the huge successes he has made in YouTube. You can see his silver. You can see the gold. You can also see his revenue that he's actually making on YouTube, which is very huge. He is going to give you a YouTube step-by-step -step tube mastery class. Every step of the way from the beginning of the opening of the channel to how you can start up and put up your videos. He is leaving no stone unturned like I said. So for those that are seeking for how to start up their own YouTube channel, this is the easiest and the fastest way for you to have access to this particular teacher who is honest and straightforward and you will enjoy every bit of the class and you will have lots of gain at the end of your class you will have lots to hold on to and to start up your own youtube channel it's going to be like an abc class starting from the scratch so please for those of you that are interested in starting up your own youtube channel matt pa he is the teacher and you will have direct access to him i'm dropping the link below so please you just click on that link and you will have access to matt pa's class he is going to give you the whole content of youtube and all that it takes for you to be successful in youtube and how to start youtube from the scratch like i said and i'm going to repeat he's leaving no stone unturned and it's so interesting that if you have any kind of complaint no matter the time you have this complaint or you are confused about anything you can communicate directly to him and he will give you a response as soon as he gets your question or as soon as he gets your mail or anything you're trying to confirm from him he is quick at responding and he will give you the right answers and even if you go elsewhere to search you find out that what he is saying is actually true he wouldn't mislead you so please for those of you that want to start your own youtube channel from the scratch and see how you can be successful on youtube 
please go to this link click on the link below so you will have access to the teacher that's the teacher there you can see and see his success you can go through that and then you click on the link so that you can have direct access to Matpa himself this teacher you will enjoy and enjoy every bit of the classes that he's going to give to you so friends do not forget to click the link below so you have access to math pass to mastery class and he will give you the best teaching for you to you will really need to start your own channel friends thank you for coming up today please for those that have not subscribed click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video thank you once again and god bless you all